Hey everyone, Steve from World Start here, and today I have this really cool hard drive enclosure. If you've never seen one of these before, they're actually really cool. It's basically a do-it-yourself external hard drive. Just take the enclosure and add any SATA hard drive up to four terabyte in size, and you instantly have a high quality external hard drive for your computer. And putting this together is actually way easier than you probably think, and I'll give you a quick overview of that in a minute. But first, why use this instead of just getting an external hard drive from the store. In a word, price. If you've ever checked out the external hard drives at your local store, you know they can be crazy expensive, especially when you compare prices of the external hard drives to the price of the internal hard drives. Why is there such a big difference? Well, you're paying big bucks for that pretty case. That's why I love to use these. I can either purchase a new hard drive and save a ton, or I can repurpose an old hard drive, which by the way is my favorite way to use these, and just stick it in here. Plus, if I need a larger hard drive down the road, I can replace the hard drive in this case with a larger one. It's totally reusable. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that these are USB 3.0, so they are just like crazy fast. Also, don't worry if you don't have USB 3.0 yet, they work just fine with USB 2.0 as well, but man, these are like blisteringly quick on USB 3.0. Since I need to set up another one of these, I'm gonna show you just how I do that right now so you can see for yourself just how easy this is. Okay, so I have the enclosure here, and I also have an old hard drive I'm gonna repurpose. Again, you can buy a new one, or in this case, I just have a nice 500 gig SATA drive I'm gonna go ahead and pop in here. Uh, basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull the parts that screwed together or anything when it comes from the uh, factory. See, just a couple of quick wires you need to connect there. And you have to take these little pieces off here. And uh, I'm gonna have the camera person come in so that you can get a close up of what I'm doing. It's really easy. In putting these together, I found the easiest thing to do is to go ahead and just plug our two cords in right here first. This is the power cord, and these are easy. You just, they're, they're keyed, you can't make a mistake. You just plug it in, and then we'll plug in the data cord. That's it, just as easy as plugging a lamp. Again, if it's giving you any resistance, you're doing it wrong, but super, super easy to do. Okay, the next step is just to insert the hard drive into the case, and you're gonna to wanna to do it with these, you wanna make sure that you match up your screw holes here, these two right here, and these two right here, real easy, just basically slides in, and uh, you can see my screw holes are right there. We'll go ahead and screw that down right now. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put these trim pieces back in. They just slide right back in, nothing to it. And just wanna make sure that your holes are lined up here, real easy, once they're in, the holes will be lined up. Okay, and the final thing is just to go ahead and attach our front panel in here. That just slides in, and there's a couple of screws right here, and all these screws are included, even the screwdriver is included. All done, that's it. And there you go, pretty simple, huh? It really only takes a few minutes and the included instructions right here are just great. So give this a try and save yourself some big bucks, especially if you're repurposing an old hard drive. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.